Nvidia kicked off the year with their GTX 1080T and they are ending it with the GTX 1070. T, the GeForce GTX 1070T is another story though. It launched after the RX Vega cards. Out of the two Vega cards, the RX Vega 56 was called out as the best one. The Vega 56 has been seen to outperform the GTX 1070 while staying right under the GTX 1080. To fill this little performance gap, Nvidia is introducing the GTX 1070T. As you can see, the GeForce GTX 1070T Titanium 8G's exterior is smattered with silver metallic accents instead of MSI's signature red splashes. Otherwise, the twin throats or V-coolers cover might as well be part of the Gaming X family. Two 10cm fans with 14 blades dominate the cards. Front shroud, the back plate sure looks nice. It also plays a part in securing the two cooling elements up front. However the backplate doesn't help with passive cooling, MSI places its two memory voltage converters above 8 for the GPU, giving the processor four real power phases. Because the VRMs are all lined up, the memory's VRMs end up fairly far away from the modules themselves. If you game at Full HD up to WQHD then the 1070T series is going to be very sufficient. The card does sit in a nice high-end range that will suit many of you just fine. Due to the many limiters and hardware protections, NVIDIA is built in all and any cards will hover roughly at or just over the 2.0 GHz level on the boost marker. The titanium is all about the looks, something different in the MSI gaming series bracket. They offer different looks a eh? cooler with one more heat pipe but other than that, this is the same stuff as the gaming model. Offers with a typical performance offset and normal baseline performance, MSI once again. Offer a really good product here with a slightly different twist on the cooler in style and well. That one extra heat pipe, but hey, it's again really silent, cools great and offers performance and tweaking levels on the GPU that are really good. The memory was a bit less tweakable though, but that's really the only thing I can nitpick about. If you are in the market for a 1070T just purchase one.